Um, welcome. This is the Tag Security Highlights. Um, so hopefully you're in the right room. I'm Marina. I'm one of the co-chairs of Tag Security, and I'm here today with Mike. Hi, I'm uh, Mike Lieberman. I am also uh, one of, uh, so I'm a tech lead on uh, Tag Security as well as a governing board member of the OpenSSF and TAC member of the OpenSSF and um, CTO of Kusari. Yeah, and unfortunately our third speaker couldn't make it here today, but we're giving, giving her credit for helping out anyway. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So um, we've talked to the, this is kind of the plan for the, for the day. We're going to talk a little bit about who we are, what we do in tag security, what's been going on recently in, in tag security, and how all of you can get involved and be part of the group as well. So this is just a very quick overview of what we do at tag security. Um, we have a GitHub re repository where a lot of our work um, is hosted and kind of you know, goes out to the various different subprojects and all the things going on. Um, somewhat popular GitHub repo, it's available there for folks who are curious to learn more about anything we talk about today. That's a good place to start. We're a group of lots of different types of people. We have enthusiasts, professionals, students. I'm a student, a PhD student here. Mike here is a, uh, is a professional, I guess, and um, anyone is welcome. We're really a group for everyone who cares about security in the cloud native community. So that's, that includes all of you, right? So um, um, our goal is to strengthen the security of the ecosystem, um, find gaps, um, provide education, things like white papers and other kinds of ways to educate the community. Um, about security, as well as like foster maturity of projects and their security um, posture, um, and engage with all of the different projects in the cloud native space, especially the CNCF projects, but really anyone in the cloud native space looking to improve their security. Um, our, and our charter is, is listed here as well. Um, we focus on protection of cloud native systems while providing needed access. Um, and that, that second clause is, is, is also important, right? We want to make sure that we're, we're improving the security while also ensuring that usability and all of that is also um, possible. We, provide, uh, we focus on common understanding and common tooling to help developers meet security requirements. So one of the things we do is we try and take these big um, efforts and buzzwords and new standards and try and um, translate that into something that can help provide actionable actions for projects to actually improve their security posture and also providing common tooling for audit and reasoning about security properties. Um, so what does that mean in practice? Or, or first of all, this is, this is who we are. This is the, the leadership team of, of Tag Security. You'll see both of us there as well as um, lots of other wonderful people um, who help, help get all of this work done. So shout out to all of, the, all of these folks. So yeah, so now we're gonna talk a bit about um, what this actually looks like in practice. So what some of the efforts that we've been working on um, recently are, and then going into some of the, the ongoing efforts where you all can get involved, and just more about, about what we do. So one, the first thing I wanted to highlight that happened recently was a relaunch of the Security Pals effort with NYU. So one of the big goals of Tag Security is to provide um, security feedback to CNCF projects. And we do this in a few different ways. There's a security assessment pro process that has, has evolved over the years, but really provides an opportunity for security practitioners in Tag Security to do audits of projects. And the, the first step in this self-assessment, in this, sorry, in this assessment process is a self-assessment where projects go in and look at their own project, um, assess the security and kind of um, provide us with the context we need to then do the rest of the assessment process. And um, this, this relaunch of the Security Palace process was a project really allowed us to um, speed up this self-assessment process for a lot of projects. Because this can be, it is a lot of work for projects to, to do the self-assessment process. And so it's often a blocker to getting the security assessment done. And so we, were, we partnered with um, NYU and Justin Kapos, who was on that previous slide, um, worked with a, a bunch of students. Oh, he's over there too. <laughs> worked with a bunch of students, I think some of whom were even here, um, to review a bunch of CNCF projects and kind of help them make this self-assessment. I mean, it was an incredibly successful effort with um, 28 CNCF projects reviewed and 20 of six of these merged into the tag security repo, kind of ready for projects to take that next step, do like a review of this assessment as like an easier self-assessment before going through the whole process. Um, another thing I wanted to highlight um, that the tag has been doing recently is some of the work that we've been doing in the supply chain security space. 
we recently wrote a blog post about policy as code in the software supply chain, which is linked in these slides, which should be, will be available soon if they're not yet. Um, and this provides really a high level overview for using policy as code to secure um, your software supply chain. Um, the goal is to provide kind of a high level overview, really easily accessible to help people who are um, just hearing about some of these things for the first time, figure out where, where to get started. The other th big thing here I wanted to highlight is a um, kickoff effort for the Software Supply Chain Best Practices V2. Let's, um, we'll talk a bit more about our white paper efforts in a minute, but this is we have a Software Supply Chain Security Best Practices white paper published by the TAG a couple of years ago. Um, but of course, a lot has changed in the supply chain space in the past couple of years. And so we want to update this document um, and also really expand um, its readability and usability to a wide range of audiences. And so this is an effort that's just getting started, and so it's a great time to come in if you have, if you have thoughts about um, either feedback about V1 or you know, new ideas for ways to improve and want to get involved in, in the writing process. Um, I'll talk a little bit, as, I'll, I'll hand on to Mike to talk about some ongoing efforts in, in the tag. Sure. Um, so uh, we have, as you can see, you know, in here. So we have an automated governance uh, reference architecture that's being currently built out. And so for, it's kind of over, there's a lot of overloaded terms in, in, in uh, security. And so when it comes to policy, policy right now is often clear, distinct rules. And governance is often sort of how do you manage policy across multiple domains. Um, and so there is a reference architecture that is being um, uh, built up there, and there's a working group that uh, meets, I believe, every other week uh, currently that is 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 focused on um, focused on that. We also have uh, most recently uh, we have a new compliance working group. So. Once again, security and compliance often go hand to hand, um, not always in, in the greatest ways, but, but we now have a working group that's very much focused on um, uh, compliance that is looking at, you know, bringing in a lot of the different uh, uh, tools, it was not just tools, but also um, frameworks and standards like OSCAL, um, which is an open, uh, open source controls assessment language among with uh, other things to sort of uh, uh, pull in some of that work and then also help sort of uh, uh, help coordinate and and collaborate with the broader security community to so that we can start to maybe uh, solve things with one tool as opposed to two. Um, we also have, uh, and this is what a very long ongoing project, we have a catalog of um, supply chain compromises. So this is uh, essentially just a whole list of documents, um, you know, or a whole list of descriptions of supply chain attacks that have happened. Um, most of them cloud native, not all of them, but, but most of them um, cloud native. And so it's just a sort of a catalog of, of different attacks when they happen, what was sort of the, um, you know, what was the type of attack and that sort of thing. Um, and it's been proven to be very useful. It's been used by uh, researchers in, in some of their research as, as well. We also have a whole lot of security assessments um, going on. And in particular, uh, there is the, the Cube Edge and Cube Flow uh, security assessments that are currently going on, and those are actually happening in the uh, Tag Security Tag Security Europe, Middle East, and Africa meetings um, that happen during those friendly time zones. Um, and they're looking for obviously more contributions. Would love to kind of get more support there. And then we also have on an ongoing basis, um, you know, we have contributions from folks to help translate the white papers into all sorts of uh, languages. So um, the most common one is uh, the um, the just tag security, cloud native security white paper. And we have, uh, I, I don't last, I, I lost count of how many languages. We have, yeah, we released like, I think more than five different languages, yeah. maybe 10. <laughs> Always welcome to have more. So if yep. you speak a language that's not on there, let us know. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, so how can you, uh, where to jump in, right? So what, what, are, what are we looking for right now? Well, so uh, we have weekly meetings for um, the tags and the working groups in the tags. So uh, in the tag, I should say. So the, we have, um, there's going to be weekly meetings that happen North America time zone, you know, 1700 UTC. Um, and we also have uh, meetings that happen every other week, which is uh, 1300 uh, UTC. Um, 
and just be aware that those subjects are that those times are subject to change. So please look at the the uh, tag security calendar um, for the most up to date uh, uh, stuff there. And you know, once again, we have lots of different working groups from like a supply chain security working group to the compliance working group. Some of the working groups will get spun down at least temporarily, um, like the the controls working group once. Um, a bunch of work is done if, if folks decide, hey, we don't want to work on it anymore or we don't think that there's something new yet to work on. Um, we, we also spin down some of those groups, but if there's, uh, yeah, so we have stuff there. Um, and then also we now, uh, uh, tomorrow and Friday, we have the security hub. Uh, do you want to talk about that a bit more? Sure, yeah. So um, this has been um, a, a, an effort for the past couple of KubeCons that we've been doing to kind of bring more more security to the main KubeCon event. Um, we used to have a co-located event um, on like the day zero of KubeCon and now we kind of transitioned it to happen at the same time to kind of better interact with not just security people but anyone interested in doing security um, at their organization. Um, so this year, the, what the Security Hub will look like is we're doing it on just Thursday and Friday of the conference. Um, there'll be um, a space somewhere on this floor. Uh, you can yeah. find, oh yeah, there's the there's the number. Um, <laughs> and there'll be um, two different types of, of events. We'll have, um, well, I guess three. So we have the unconference sessions where you can submit a um, an idea online, and we will review those and kind of create a schedule of unconference sessions. These are kind of more informal talks. Um, you don't need slides and everything like that, but maybe just an idea that you want to talk about with the group. And then birds of feather sessions. Um, also, which are even more un un informal, um, kind of casual chats. If you want, if you have like a security topic you want to meet meet up with folks to talk about, or something like that, this is a great opportunity. We'll have a board available at the security hub to kind of put put your your topic down for that as well, and we'll try and get those announced on schedule as much as possible. And of course, there's also um, a, a CTF capture the flag event um that we that we've been doing at this um security hub which has been very successful in the past so hopefully it'll be very fun again this year um if you're interested in that um, i believe there's an info, inf inf information session about it if you're new to ctfs and want to learn about it um, or you can just just um head to the security hub and and get going if you've done it before that's the information about where it is um please join us there on on thursday and friday um, it's all day. So the um, unconference sessions will be generally like the first kind of half of the day. Birds of Feather are generally second half of the day. CTF the whole time. Um, yeah. I think I, don't, I think it does close at some point, but I don't remember the exact exact time that'll be. Yeah. yeah. It should all be on, on SCED under Security, security Hub. hub. Yeah, yeah, they should all be labeled Security Hub on SCED. So hopefully that's all there. Yeah, so um, usually you know, in the past we've gotten a lot of questions about more about tag security. So we leave this uh, presentation relatively short so that folks who are interested, who want to understand more about the specifics of any of the projects, more than welcome to kind of um, ask questions. Um, you know, if folks want to, to know more about the unconference, feel free to, to, to ask questions. But we kind of keep this one, keep these ones short because usually we get a ton of questions at the end. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and if anyone wants to get involved and isn't sure where to start, um, this is a great place to ask and say, you know, this this is what you're bringing and, and how we can we can fit that in. We really have space for all kinds of different skill sets in the tag. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> Everyone's and I, welcome. And I apologize in advance. Um, I will most likely be calling on some of the regular tag security members to, to talk about their own experiences as, as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, going to open it up to the floor. Uh, do folks have questions about tag security, what we're working on, um, how to get involved, uh, or anything for the unconference that's going to be happening over the next few days? Yeah, so the question was about how to get involved and what kind of skills skills you have to bring. And it really depends on how you, how you want to get involved. I think there's space for a lot of different things. Um, I think if you're interested in getting into um, involved in like from a, like a technical security pr perspective, the security assessments are a good place to start, both to learn more about um, that process and learn more about technical security stuff. And also, if you have that expertise already, there's kind of both, both sides there. Um, I think there's also... Some amount of just like as as, oh, as in as with every open source project, there's some amount of GitHub organization, project management type stuff that is always welcome. If like you know, 
uh, you know, issue organization, that kind of thing, <laughs> always good. Um, as well as writing. We work on a lot of white papers and um, other kind of outputs for the group. Um, so either um, technical input to those documents as well as kind of editorial input is always, always welcome as well. Any, anything else you think of? Yeah, yeah. So um, what, what I'll say is, uh, so about three years ago, maybe... Yeah, about three years ago, I started getting involved in tag security. And before that, I didn't really have a tr traditional sort of security background at all. Like, I mean, felt I was in a DevOps or DevSecOps sort of role, but it was, you know, the, the community was super welcoming. There's a ton of content and linked content from the various white papers that helped me get me up to speed. And then, um, yeah, so it's we're looking for all sorts. And if you're just also just folks who are just interested. Um, another thing to, to kind of highlight here is, is we, al we also often have, um, you know, demos of various security products that, that or not security, uh, you know, like security projects underneath the CNCF and related open, uh, open source security product, uh, projects that are, um, uh, that regularly give presentations. So if you just want to kind of learn, you're more than welcome just to, you know, sit into the meeting and, and, and uh, as well. Would one of you be willing to open the service desk ticket so we could make uh, Ricky Raccoon an official friend? Um, I could open that ticket, yeah. <laughs> fantastic, because, yeah, well, he's still not a friend. And how long has, has Ricky Raccoon been around? So. I don't I don't know the exact number of years. Um, this is our, our, our tag security. This is very small for all of you out there, so you probably can't see it. Our tag security um, logo. Do we have it on here? So I know we have it in the, anyway, yeah, <laughs> in the GitHub repo. If you go on our GitHub repo, you can see um, here. Here, we'll go to it now. Um, there it is. That's that's much bigger. Okay. <laughs> um, we have our, our tag security raccoon logo. Yeah. So we got to get that in fifty in friends. So, yeah. If anyone here has has is is an author on that, let us know. <laughs> yep. right, yes. Questions here. Hi, and thank you for the talk. And what are the differences or how do the tax security pair with the work of the OpenSSF? <laughs> Fantastic question. I'll let my ticket. <laughs> sure. Uh, so as, as a tag security lead and, and, and a governing board of, member of the OpenSSF and TAC member of the OpenSSF, um, so the CNCF is, is heavily focused on cloud native. So stuff in Kubernetes, stuff in public cloud, private cloud, all that sort of stuff. And so when, you know, just... If you're thinking to yourself, first, like, let me just start with saying, you know, if you're thinking about where to go purely for, um, you know, cloud native security, you probably go to CNCF. If you're thinking about more broadly open source security, and that includes some elements of cloud native, but but more broadly, like, you know, open source security. So that can also include open source, you know, legacy libraries that run on whatever. Um, you would go to sort of open SSF, but there is, um, you know, a strong partnership between the two groups, right? Because usually CNCF is coming out with all the latest and greatest technologies that are then driving the change. And that includes driving security change. And so a lot of the stuff there is kind of ending up in open SSF and vice versa. So just as an example, there is like a CNCF project called Tough, the update framework, which has now a new tool. There's a new um, uh, sort of, I don't know what you call it, framework <laughs> service yeah, <laughs> uh, called uh, Git Tough, which is, um, you know, essentially applying that uh, set of rules against um, Git. And because that kind of applies more broadly just purely to Git, like it felt like it should belong in under OpenSSF. And then there's also another project called SBOMIT, which combines SBOM and Intoto. And so Intoto is another um, CNCF project. And so how can you apply, you know, the similar sorts of uh, practices that Intoto does against sort of generating and verifying SBOMs? So there's, there is a lot there. Um, I will say that still there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of more areas for us to collaborate, um, and we're always very interested in, in you know, uh, th that cross-pollination and cross-collaboration. There was another hand over there earlier. I don't know if you still have a question. Yeah. <laughs> we answered it already. Sorry, I was shy. Um, 
Do you have any um, uh, white papers you can highlight especially or sure. uh, white papers you're currently working on? Yeah, so um, I, I'm not going to try and use GitHub while I talk, but <laughs> yeah, Mike can pull them up while I talk. Um, yeah, so the, I think the the one like, I think I would say to start is just our um, cloud native security white paper, which is just kind of an overview cloud native security. Um, I think we've done there's two versions of it. There's like a V1 and a V2. Obviously, look at the the V2, um, and we'll probably be doing another update of that in a year or or so, depending on, on interest and, and so on. Um, that's probably a good place to start just because it um, it's most general. But if you have a particular area of sub-interest, I think we have a couple of others to look at. Um, there's the um, supply chain security best practices white paper, which I think I mentioned a little, I, I touched on, I guess, a little bit earlier, um, which we're doing a V2 effort of now, but, but um, also another good one to look at. And finally, I think we have a is it recently released. Is it released? Which one? The, um, um, oh, what is it? What? Oh, fuzzing, yeah. yeah, yeah yes, the, yes, the fuzzing sorry. one, and um, I think there's, there's also, I think, a control, the controls, does the controls group have a white paper? Uh, so I don't think it has the white paper, um, but it does have, we also have uh, like a controls catalog that's focused on cloud native. So um, for folks who are, you know, coming from those industries where where you need to kind of have a, a spreadsheet of controls, like, hey, we, we have that and we've mapped that back to also stuff like NIST controls. So you can understand where, you know, um, if this NIST 853 control uh, uh, says something, you know, we, we here's what we sort of apply, like here's a cloud native way to implement that. I think the, the zero knowledge, sorry, I, the word was escaping me, but they also recently had a white paper about that. So that's another interesting one to look at. Yep. Um, and then yeah. we also have, uh, the, there's also the secure software factory reference architecture as well, which is uh, focused on um, sort of, uh, and, and you know, building out a secure build platform using cloud native technologies in order to sort of help secure the supply chain. <laughs> hey, so um, I guess the tag is community driven mostly, but is there any big organization providing, for example, more engineers than the rest or some, I'm thinking about Google, for example, Red Hat, Microsoft, is any of these organizations heavily involved? I would say mostly no, actually. I think that it's very community driven. We have, we do have participation from lots of both big and small and not even companies, <laughs> lots, lots of different um, participation. Um, I think what we've mostly focused on in tag security is providing kind of that guidance and that um, overview rather than actually like um, the, the actual writing code and maintaining code in this space. Um, I think we found this just to be a more sustainable model um, making sure that stuff stays up to date, right? Because if we release a library as a security group, we obviously want to make sure that it's always up to date, always maintained. Um, and so by focusing on guidance and then kind of allowing um, other folks to focus on the implementation, um, that's worked so far. Not that we're opposed to, to, to doing that work, it's just, yeah. Yeah, and, and also in general, we, we've shied away from um, writing too much code uh, because we also don't want to compete with uh, uh, CNCF's own members who might be building their own tools in the in the space as well so we we focused on as, as marina mentioned more on like white papers building out best practices we'll highlight some key examples um uh but yeah and i think you know uh, i think also on that front you know we we found um for better or worse uh, a lot of great folks from a lot of great organizations both small and large. So it's, I, I would say it's all over the place. We have um, attendance from startups who some of them are, you know, world leading experts. And then we also do have contributions from folks like IBM, Google, Microsoft as, as well. Um, any other uh, questions? If there's nothing else, uh, we can end uh, a little early. Great, thank you all. Thanks. <laughs>